in this video, we are going to take a look at how to use CodeGrade. And CodeGrade is the tool that we use to automatically correct your submissions to examination one. So let's head over to assignments. And before we take a look at an assignment here, I just want to point out that you can change how this page, page is displayed by clicking up here. And personally, I prefer it to have it as show by type because then you clearly see what problems are in task one. So I was thinking that we could look at uh, this one here. And of course, when we're solving these, we start by uh, using Polya's problem solving technique and writing our short analysis report. And after that, we create our script and then it's time to upload it to CodeGrade. And we do that by using the link in the very bottom here. And what we do here is that we create a new submission. And here it tells us what files we are required to upload. So we see here it's one script and one report. And I have my submission here. So I'll just drag it over and then I'll click submit here in the bottom right. And when we do this, uh, it will be automatically checked by CodeGrade to see if it fulfills the requirements. And we can see it takes a few seconds before it's starting. But after that, uh, we will start to see if it pass or fail here on the right hand side. So if it passes or fails each of these tests here. So let's see. Okay, it turns out that I have a problem here in my code. So we see that I can pass some of the tests but this test here, I failed that one. So if I click out here, I can get more information. And we can see the expected output here and what my script outputted. And in this case here, we are only looking for the receipt. So it is perfectly okay that there is more text in our output here but the test is only checking the receipt to see if the logic is correct. We can see it's trying to first add and then remove a meal and then it expects this result. But if we look at our result, uh, it, I made a mistake. It doesn't remove the meal. So you can see down here that there is a problem. So the first way to look at something that fails is to just open it like we did here and check the output. And sometimes you can also go into differences or you can always do it, but sometimes it's easier to see in here. And we can see here that it tries to tell us what the problem is. We can also click input to see exactly what was inputted when we ran the script. But personally, I often look at this page to see what the difference is. All right, so we can see that we have some problem here and we can see that down here, there is a problem too, uh, because we didn't get one out of one here. And this test down here is uh, intended to teach us uh, how to write proper Python code. All languages have style guides telling us how to write code in that language. And in Python, that is called PEP8. So PEP8 tells us how to write our code. And we want to follow this so that whoever reads our code has an easier time reading the code. Because maybe I write the code, but then my colleague needs to look at it later. And if we all write the code in the same way, it's much easier to do that. So we can see here, we can also see that, oh, I didn't pass it. I didn't green, get the green check mark here. So if I click this little chevron here, we can see what the problems are. And then it will tell us what we need to change. And we can see here, all right, in some of my lines, I have a trailing white space. 
and if I click here it will take me to the code and show my show me what line that is we cannot change it here directly we have to do it in our script and then upload again but here we can see what the problem is and the same here we can have different types of problems we can see here for this one in in one of my lines I'm missing white spaces around an operator so here can be different problems but deal with them one at a time so my suggestion is if you upload and you don't get green check marks everywhere just focus on one problem at a time and try to solve that one and when we think that we have changed our script so that it now works as it should we can upload again we can upload as many times as we like so if I go back here to the task again and let's reload the page so that I can make a new submission I can see my previous submission but I think I have solved it now so uh, let me create a new uh, submission here and, and let's take my second try here so if I upload this code instead let's see what happens we can see that all right we are first in queue it's soon gonna run and check it for us Aha, we see we, we managed to fix our problem here and we also fixed all the problem that was listed here before under uh, the code quality check so make sure when you upload that you get green check marks for all the tests that is the goal you have to get green check marks everywhere to be able to pass this examination and if we look down here in the bottom of the screen we can see that we have three uh, categories or three different parts of a rubric we have functionality the this means the tests up here then we have code quality which is this one down here making sure that we write our code according to pep 8 and we can see that there is a little AT after these two it means that they are automatically tested so we can see that these two categories here they will be automatically tested every time that you upload and then it will fill out down here if you pass or not and now I didn't fail this time so we can see the little check mark here on the right hand side it says that all tests passed previously the check mark was here telling me that not all tests passed but this time we can see that all right the check mark is here everything is good for the last category here it is about the report and when I manually check your upload later I will fill out this uh, last category here to say that it's either approved or not approved so this will not be automatically filled out it's something that I have to do manually so that is how to work with code grade if you should have any problems with it don't hesitate to contact me and I will try to help you as much as I can